Hello my beautiful MK Love fam and welcome back to another episode of Weekly Angel Guidance. And if this is your first time here, my name is Melanie Kate Love and I help you heal your emotional pain so you can get to the stage where you manifest unconditional inner freedom. This week is a very big week because we will be feeling the effects of eclipse season. And it's interesting, as soon as I said the word eclipse, my throat chakra started to close up. That's interesting, we'll have to keep that in mind. So the eclipse actually began, let me just put it on the screen for you. Um, if This was on Saturday, so in LA that's 5.28 p.m. New York, this was your Saturday at 8.28 p.m. London, this was your Sunday at 1.28 a.m. New Delhi, 6.58 a.m., Brisbane, 11.28 a.m., and Auckland, 2.28 p.m. So the eclipse season is well and truly started. You may have actually felt the beginning stages of the eclipse um, last week. I noticed I definitely um, felt the shift, which was amazing. Keep in mind that eclipse season eclipses things, so that means it ends things. It ends things and it starts things brand new for you. Now these can be things that you have, you know, been working really hard and planned plan for, and this is like this brand new chapter, or this can be a divine intervention. So that basically means things can happen in your life that you wouldn't have planned for, you are not prepared for, and it comes like out of left field and it shakes your whole world. When this happens during this time, um, this, is a, this is an amazing time where your angels are taking you off one train track and they're putting you onto another. You need to thank it when it comes up because there's a reason behind it, you know? And you need to say, what do I need to learn from this so you can move forward? Everything that is happening for you right now is meant to be. Um, it's interesting because if you look at Saturday's um, card from last week, it was the Ten of Ten of Swords, um, where it talks about you know you have to allow things to just fall away, and that song was from Adele Skyfall, like this is the end. Hold your breath and count to ten. Feel the earth moving let the sky fall and it was like that's what you have to allow and i feel like that's what eclipse is all about letting what is meant to be stay like you know if something is truly meant to be it will stay in your life it, if it has to leave for a little bit then let it be let it be oh let it be which is another song that came up in weekly angel guidance last week and you're getting to a stage now where you're starting this brand new chapter and so just just go with the flow don't have resistance to it um because you know it's going to get worse for you just allow yourself to be in the boat you know and like in this raft and you put the oars into the boat and you're allowing the current to guide you to exactly where you need to be because what is on the other side of this crazy time that we're embarking upon um, and that we're going through is the most delicious goodness that you couldn't even possibly ever imagined um, so go with it just go with it um, and be mindful about speaking up for yourself um, yeah anyways so let's get into the phases of the moon so monday to wednesday we're going we're actually this whole week we're going only through two phases which is interesting so monday to wednesday we have the partial solar eclipse new moon in capricorn so this is your affirmation i reset my intentions and feel the emotions associated with them so like what do you want your life to look like in the next six months because this eclipse well, this eclipse that we're going through right now is actually setting us up for the next few decades. <laughs> um, so it's like you're really becoming this new person. Um, so yeah, what do you want to see happen for the next six months? And how is that six months going to impact you long term? So this is not to be taken lightly by any means. Then from Thursday to Sunday, we move into the crescent phase of the moon. This is when we ref find our intentions and allow the universe to guide you so that means like okay from the beginning of the week we're setting our intentions like what do you actually want like you need to just stop and actually think and be like what do you actually want to happen over the next six months and potentially lay the foundations for the next 20 years or 30 years depending on 
which astrology you follow because everyone has said something different <laughs> um, and then you start refining them so it's like if this is what I want the refining stage is literally like planning out how do you what what actionable steps do you need to take to prepare you we're not taking action right now we're just saying this is what we want and you're literally going through your calendar and be like okay if this is what I want for six months, you're working back and you'll be like, okay, I need to achieve this by this month, this month, this month. When you have each month, then you segment into weeks. Uh, and once you've done that, then you segment it into days. It takes time. That's why I've given you from like Thursday to Sunday to really nut out what does this look like for you? Because come Monday next week, you start implementing this thing into your life. So. There's a lot going on. So let's see what we need to know for Monday. By the way, this is just a general reading. This is for all of the star signs. So just take from this what feels best for you. Maybe it's one card, maybe it's none this week. Just go with it. You will know what feels right because your intuition will be like, oh, yes, I relate to that. <laughs> all right, angels, what do we need to know for Monday for my beautiful MKL fam? Wow, that came up pretty quick. The first card we got is the High Priestess. This is a fabulous time for you to really go with, go within, but also like trust. Allow the universe to guide you to where you need to go. This is intuition. This has been divinely protected. You've got this beautiful owl here, which, and we've also got the pomegranate, and the pomegranate represents fertility. This could be fertility, like a birth of the new you, the new fabulous you. This is the birth of a new project, depending on where Capricorn is in your house. You'll need to watch astrology videos to find that out because that's not my area of expertise. Um, so this is like allowing the moon to guide you. This is allowing this new fertility, this new, whatever this fertility looks like for you. It's so interesting that that came up for Monday. What is this new thing that you're working on? And you really need to go within. How do you unblock all your different chakras? Because you need to have your third eye chakra open to hear your intuition. You meditate. I have meditations on my YouTube channel for free that you can check out. Um, there's heaps online. Do you just have to find what floats your boat? You need to get yourself into alignment. You need to unblock all of those seven chakras. If you need help, then please check out my free exclusive training and I'll talk you through what I actually did to achieve, um, you know, everything that I've manifested to date. Like I'm literally living my dream life, which is, is amazing and it's crazy and I'm so grateful and it's like you can get to that place like you really can I'm no different to you I have put in the work and that's all you have to do that's the only thing that's separating us so this is like this is this new fertility um so yeah new fertility however this looks like for you and really taking time to tune in whatever whatever makes you feel like the most beautiful person in the whole wide world like if that's having a dance party that's buying this new friggin fabulous bandana with a bow in front of your head and you're like i'm totally rocking out today dude do it what make what makes you feel good what puts you in that vibration and i'm also being reminded again about the throat the throat could be like an overactive throat chakra could be like you're you talk so much that you don't friggin listen or it could be you don't speak up for yourself if you're if it's un, if it's blocked this is a lot to do with the throat chakra and they're saying yep my angel's like hurry up move on that's it you've said all you need to say with that one okay so fertility and talking about do you are you talking too much are you not listening or do you need to speak up for yourself it's about throat chakra with that one let's get clarity let's see what we need to know for Tuesday Tuesday we've got two cards that's interesting and this one just did a massive spin like a 360 spin I don't know if we caught that on camera all right Oh shit balls. Whoa, my goodness. Okay, this is amazing energy. Okay, so Tuesday is the two of pentacles. So that represents finding your balance, your yin and your yang. And it's interesting because I have this crystal here that I've kept on my desk. I don't know what it's called, but it's blue and it's beautiful. Um, but Peter's sister actually gave that to me for Christmas a couple of years ago. And I keep that next to me, reminding me to stay 
calm. You know, if I'm working too much, you need to stop at five o'clock and you need to, you know, do something that makes you feel good. Have a bath. I need to have baths because I'm fireside and, you know, water just cools me, like just calms my soul. Um, okay, so you need to find your balance with the two of pentacles and it's like, this is abundance. So you're balancing this new abundance for you. However, this new abundance looks like for you or whatever area this represents for you in Capricorn. If you just type into YouTube, actually have a look at Kelly Rosano. She's got fabulous videos. Have a look at Kelly Rosano's videos for um, January. So whatever star sign it is, or if you know your sun, moon and rising, look at all three of them and have a look to see where does what does Capricorn represent for you during this, this month because it's totally going to help you out. Then we also have the Knight of Cups. So this is your emotions. And you know, as soon as I say that song every time, it's just emotions taking me over, caught in a sorrow, lost in a storm. But if you won't come back, come home to me, darling. Yeah, so it's like you're breaking free of these emotions. And now I have stomach pain and I don't have my period right now. So this is like solar plexus. This is solar plexus. This is, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so this is, the solar plexus is like the yellow color chakra, which represents your personal power. So this is like the, the Knight of Cups is like moving through conscious. And then I heard moving through the freeway in the hot, hot sun. I don't know the rest of that song, but that's just what I heard. So I'm getting pain on Tuesday in the, so it's like Monday, we've got a throat chakra blockage. Then on Tuesday, we've got the solar plexus, which is the personal power. It's like, do you actually believe in yourself? Do you believe that you have what it takes to get through and navigate through this contrast of this eclipse season? Because let me freaking tell you, you do. I believe in you. So you need to see yourself the way that I see you. You know, you were literally born into this world, pure positive energy. And along the way, so many of you have forgotten who you are. You've had people from like your family try and dictate the way that you need to live your life. And the only person that you need to please at the end of the day is you. No one is going to, you know, if you try and please your parents or your friends or the people at work, or you're like, I got this new freaking fancy car. Look at me, you know, who gives a shit? You know, nobody cares. Um, it's just the ego. So it's like you need to detach from this ego to find that balance. Do what you know is right for you. So channel your intuition, this new fertility, this new project, this new you that you are creating. And you have to find your balance, however that looks like for you. And as you find that balance, that's when you start like moving super, super quickly. Like the knight, he doesn't mess around. You know, whatever comes up, he's like, okay, I'm not getting on this off this horse. I'm on a quest. And this is exactly, oh, I'm hearing a song, but I can't, um, hold on. What's the song for this one? No, I lost it. We'll see if it comes back. Um, and this is like, you're on a quest to become this new fabulous new. You're using this fertility of whatever fertility is for you. And it's like, you're not gonna back down. I won't back down. Da, 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 bum, bum. Yeah, that's amazing. Okay. So using our intuition for this new fertility, whatever we're creating, finding our balance and you're moving ahead. Like you don't give a shit what anybody else thinks. You're like, this is my time to look after me. You know, I'm so sick and tired of making other people a priority. What about me? It isn't there. Can't you see? All right, what do we need to know for Wednesday? Wednesday. Wow, that was interesting. Oh, and also, do you remember the card, the Knight of Cups? It, it circled around, so I wonder what that means. Are you going round in circles the wrong way? I don't feel like you are. What comes up for you when you when I told you about that? Anyways, okay, the next card is the Page of Wands. Oh my gosh, so this is the passion. This passion, this creative thing that makes, that sets your soul on fire. And this is like, you know, just playing, 
Ooh, the throat chakra is coming up again. So this is like doing things that makes you feel amazing. This is like, she's playing like with the violin here and she's got like, oh, she's like working, she's playing with other people because there's like um, someone playing the drums, someone playing get the guitar. And then you have all these beautiful like foxes around, like just like one sleeping and then all of them are like looking up to her. It's like you're setting your soul on fire. You're doing the things that make you feel like amazing and you're just in your own element and you're just playing, um, I heard like playing the beat of the drum. What's that song? I don't know what that one is, but anyway, it's just like doing the things that make you feel amazing and you're just in your own element. You're like, you know, this is me. <laughs> Um, this is real, this, da, da. this is exactly where I want to be, and I let the light shine on me. Is that Demi Lovato from like School of Rock? Dun, 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 dun. This is real, this is it. Anyway, I'll, I will link all of the songs. I, each week now, I'm making a Spotify playlist for all the songs that I mention in Weekly Angel Guidance, and I've turned it on, pri uh, on public and collaborative. So if you hear songs as I'm reading and, and going through this, if you can channel your own songs, you're welcome to add them into that week because I would love to see what you guys add. So yeah, let's have a look for Thursday. Thursday, we move into refining our intentions so what do you need to know for thursday one card angels please <coughs> <coughs> okay does the throat get worse on thursday <coughs> <coughs> yep hold on i think my belly is just more sensitive than they have been for a while It's not an ASMR of me drinking, but sorry. I didn't expect that to come up. And then we got four cards came up for Thursday. I'm just going to roll with it, okay? The first card is the Ten of Wands. The Ten of... I'm just going to flip those other ones so I can't read them just yet. <laughs> so the Ten of Wands is like, you know, you've taken on too much. So in your intentions, like when you set your intentions, like from like really from Sunday last week to Wednesday as you're going through and be like, okay, you know, like I reset my intentions and feel the emotions associated. And what's happening for Thursday, it's like you've set things either too big and you haven't taken like stepping stones in, in, in between to get you there. Like if you go and say like, I'm broke to, I want to be a millionaire. I want to be a millionaire so freaking bad. You know, like you're not going to go from here to there. Well, it, it's possible. But there's steps in between and it feels like you need to take a step back and focus on, it's like you need to stay laser focused and it's like, you're like, I want to lose weight and I want to start a new YouTube channel and I want to um, meet the man of my dreams. And by the way, I am starting to do acro yoga. <laughs> that was totally random, but that's just what I thought. Um, and it's like, you actually need to think about one thing that means so much to you, like which one is the is the non-negotiable, you know, which one is the most important to you. And I feel like that's the one that you need to focus on because otherwise you're going to feel like you're taking on too much. And, you know, if you're taking on too much, then you can't do a good job in every aspect. Um, yeah. OK, I'm going to leave it like that for that one. Um, but we've got clarity on that one. Then the other card is we've got the three of pentacles. So this is like working with other people. So it's like, okay, if you're taking on too much, how are you going to delegate some work? How are you going to ask for help? Working with other people, other people to rise you up, finding your tribe that makes you feel like the most beautiful person in the whole wide world. I feel like this year is all about, you know, you truly stepping into your power and and getting rid of people who don't want to see you succeed, you know, because people don't like it when you change. They hate it when you change because you reflect to them things within themselves. Whoa. So this is a heart chakra. The pain is so interesting this week. I'm like, I'm really feeling the different chakras. Oh, wow. Okay. So it's like you need to find your soul tribe, find people that make you feel amazing. You know, if they're not in the physical form where you live, 
Skype them, chat to someone on Instagram. Like that's how I became friends with Joe from the Moon Journal. We've been friends for like four and a half or five years. We chat every single new moon and we discuss what we need to work on and then we regroup every month, you know? And I haven't met her yet and I know I'm gonna meet her this year. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh. And I know a lot of you have purchased a lot of delicious goodness from Joe. If you don't know Joe, oh my gosh, she is beautiful. And I feel like this is like, the soul tribe, finding people that lift you up, people who understand who you are. Join a Facebook group, you know, have a look at the comments of this YouTube channel and on my Instagram. You guys are beautiful. I feel like this is finding your soul tribe, working with people that support you no matter what. Then we got the magician and then we got the temperance. So the magician is like, you know, I got the power. Yeah, you have the power and your power is so much, it's so easy to activate when you're in the right frequency when you're around people that support your vision your outcome exactly what you want to manifest and the temperance is balance again so that's interesting that balance has come up quite a lot and i feel like the temperance and the two of pentacles have come up together in previous readings so thursday is all about the heart you know you can't do everything what is the most important focus on that find people that support you find someone that can help you get to where you need to then it's like, you know, you have the power. Everything you need to know is already deep within your soul and you have to activate that. Um, and that will help you find your balance. You don't need to do everything. You just need to do one thing and you need to do it really freaking good. Like I used to have um, Instagram, well, I still have Instagram and YouTube, which are my two loves. And Facebook was kind of like the, yeah. And then when I got rid of Facebook, I was like, I'm not posting. I have no love for Facebook. And that's when I really started laser focusing on that. And that's when my, you know, my private messages on my Instagram started blowing up and people were like pouring out their souls to me. And it's like, just do one thing and do it really well, like really well. I think that's the main thing. And just know that, you know, this is like a love for yourself and a love for other people. I feel like this is all about really a love for yourself. What, what's the most important for you thing for you to do? And I want you to focus on it. Find people that have that love for you and support you no matter what. Unconditional love. So many people don't have that. That's kind of a theme that came up last year for me. Unconditional love. Like, what does that mean? And allowing people to navigate their own path, no matter if it's different to the way you have perceived it or the way you want them to live their life. And that will help, that will help you find that balance. Ooh, okay. Let's see what we need to know for Friday. Wow, we're getting a lot of cards and another four. So this is all about stability. This is gonna, this is how you're gonna find your stability. Then we have the Knight of Wands. So that's fast moving energy towards your passion. So I feel like once you've really worked out like what you actually wanna focus on for Thursday, for Friday, it's like, okay, yeah, this feels so much better. Now I have a clear understanding. Then you just continue on that path. I don't want to pull these other cards because we know we're already going quite over time. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. What do we need to know for Saturday? Wow. There it is. Holy shit. That's so interesting because as I was shuffling the cards, this card came up. It's the King of Cups. Oh my gosh. The Cups represents emotion and the King is like getting to this elevated state of like truly it's like you've overcome and you've used your emotions to guide you to where you want to be you're super clear of where you need to and it's like you've been through a lot you know you've been through hell and back especially last year and now this is a time to like celebrate how far you have come the king is generous you know he is loving he is loyal he is kind you know, he has so much deep compassion for people because he understands contrast and he he's just beautiful. And this is where you're at on Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. This is where you're at. You're at com and the heart is here. So this is like, it's like you feel good about yourself. You feel like this love for yourself and, uh, and love for other people. It's like you have this deeper understanding and it's like you understand when people are rude or when crazy sh shit comes up, you're like, I have an awareness, you know, I watch Mel's Weekly Angel Guidance. I understand that this is what needs to happen and I'm so happy and I'm so grateful. And I understand that the universe is making room for what is to come and I welcome it. 
I welcome it. It's so interesting because I've noticed so many people around me are like uh, releasing blockages. Like my mom um, stumbled across KonMari documentary on Netflix. Um, and even though I did, I had a series, I still have a series on my channel um, called the KonMari method where I, you know, I show you the art of tidying up and what sparks joy and I show you how to fold and all of that. And my mom started cleaning out her cupboards and, you know, it's not just the act of like cleaning um, out uh, your belongings that represents cleaning out emotions that you have held on to. Like she's found letters from my childhood. She's found clothes that she used to have when she used to sing in a duo at weddings and events and all that kind of stuff. Um, and you know, that's helping her make room. The same thing is going on with Peter too. You're getting to this new state because you have been through it all. That is a massive celebration. Like that is incredible. Okay, then what do we need to know for Sunday? I don't know what is happening with my camera today. Oh shit, Sunday is justice. So this is like the balance is restored. Whoa. So this is like finding your week, your, your, it's like finding your way in the world, finding that balance, however that looks like for you. Holy moly, justice is a major arcana. This is a major event that you were going through. And this is like <sighs> butterflies, new beginnings, this new chapter, this rebirth. Well, it's not the rebirth because that's not in this card, but it's like a chapter is a transformation. She's just beautiful. She's found that balance. And the butterflies are attracted to the balance. Wow. 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 I have no words for that one because that is so powerful. It's like what, it's like the karmic, um, it's interesting because the, the, this eclipse is also about like ending negative karma. And I feel like your karma, you, <laughs> sorry, this song's come up for three weeks. He had it coming, he only had himself to blame. If you'd have been there, you would have seen it. I bet you, you would have done the same. Even though I don't like the rest of the song because it's like negative. <laughs> but that song, it's like you had it coming. You had to go through hell. Isn't that interesting that you go from the King of Cups to the Justice? Oh my gosh, my loves, this is a powerful, powerful week. Please share this video with anyone that you find, any of your friends or family that needs some extra love and guidance. I'm not going to do a card of the week because I feel like the, the card of the week is, you know, representing all from the High Priestess. So my loves, if you enjoyed this video, please comment down below because I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be responding to you ooh, in the live chat already. Um, but if you miss the video as soon as it was live, then we can chat in the comments. Anyways, my love, have an amazing week and I will see you next week. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for you. All right, I love you, I love you, I love you. Goodbye.